I say I'm a, a food maestro because a chef has formal training. I really haven't had any formal training, so I just say I'm a food maestro. Hi, I am Texas Tom. <laughs> I am a food maestro, drummer, professional Santa Claus, a husband, an owner of three naughty dogs, and I think uh, most people would say I'm a pretty fun guy. I believe I have the original bacon cinnamon roll. I put bacon and chopped pecans inside my cinnamon rolls. That bacon just adds a little bit of saltiness to it and makes it really nice. And then uh, top it off with a nice vanilla cream cheese icing. Uh, I started cooking at a fairly young age when my mother went back to school. She's like, you know, hey, you're gonna have to start making your own dinner one night, two nights a week. I started learning how to cook a little bit then. When I was 18, I worked at an Italian restaurant. I wanted to learn how to cook some of the dishes for my girlfriend. I just went back in the kitchen when it was slow and I'd start watching the cooks and asking them questions and eventually they, you know, would let me cook a dish while they watched and when I got it good enough, I started learning. That's, that's when I really started having a passion for cooking. I was teaching one summer at this school or sorry, one year at this school and summer came around and I didn't uh, budget my money very well <laughs> for the summer. So I sold cinnamon rolls. I had several people that were interested and so I put up a little Facebook page and had, I don't know, a dozen followers or something, you know. Then people were like, well, can you do things other than cinnamon rolls? And I said, sure, I can do apple pie. So I started doing apple pie. What else can you do? You know, that just kind of turned into Texas Toms. Now I have over 2,000 followers on Facebook. Scary and exciting at the same time. You're just getting your recipes together, just trying to get everything out, looking good, tasting good, and on time. That on time is, is a tough one to get at first because you have little mistakes here and there and the next thing you know, it's that I've lost an hour. And then I have to start all over. And you just get this feeling in your gut and you really, you almost want to cry. <laughs> you really almost want to cry. I'm a drummer. I love to play, love to watch other drummers. For a while, I was supplementing that with some uh, income from, from playing music in a couple of bands. That, believe me, that's not much. No one's getting rich playing in a band here in Taipei, that's, that's for sure. The most important things to me, faith, family, work, and drums. <laughs> Uh, I love to make food, I love to eat food. <laughs> I love everything about food. The actual cooking part. For me, it's almost like a zen-like thing. I can start cooking, I'll just empty my mind of any problems that I have or, or things that are going on and just be there in the moment, enjoying myself, knowing that I'm gonna make something delicious that either myself or someone else is gonna enjoy. Yeah, that's, that's my favorite.